Good day grade 12. Welcome to the absolutely last lesson in week 18 on differential calculus. I know I said that the last lesson was the last lesson, but after going through the videos I decided that we really needed to do an exam example of optimization using calculus just to make sure you guys get to grips with the type of questions they may ask you. So let's get started. So over here you can see that they've given us a graph okay there's a parabola a funny rectangle shape and a straight line and it says yeah the figure shows a rectangle pqrs there's your rectangle pqrs so with p and s are on the curve the parabola f of x is equal to 4 minus 3x squared and r and q lie on the line y equals minus 2. q and r lie on the line y equals minus 2. So that line there is y equals minus 2 and we know that this is f of x which equals 4 minus 3x squared. Right, so now they say prove that if a is greater than 0 and r is the point a minus 2, so that's a minus 2, then the area of the rectangle, so they want the area of this rectangle, is equal to, given by a is equal to, the area is equal to 12a minus 6a cubed. Okay, so I'm going to change colors just to help us work out the difference between what's given and what we can work out. Okay, so we know that that is a minus 2. So first off, we know that this is a rectangle, so we know that this is perpendicular. So that means that that line there is parallel to the y-axis. Therefore, we know that x value of this is a, right? And we want to find the y value. But to find the y value, it's very easy. We're just going to substitute a into the parabola equation. So that becomes 4 minus 3a squared. Pretty easy because all we're doing is wherever there's an x, we're putting an a. Right, so therefore we can get this length, okay? That's pretty easy because we're going to take the y value of this minus the y value of that, okay? So sr is equal to 4 minus 3a squared minus minus 2. So that becomes 4 minus 3a squared plus 2, which equals 6 minus 3a squared. Okay, so that is that length there, 6 minus 3a squared. Now, we want to find this length here, that length there. But, do you notice that this parabola is this here, and it has no middle term, there's no bx in it. Therefore, that means that it is symmetrical about the y-axis, which means that this point here has to be at minus a, minus a, and we know it's at minus 2, because this whole line's at minus 2, which means what? It means that that whole line, qr, has to be 2a in length, okay? That makes sense. So therefore, our area is equal to length times breadth, so our length we can say is 2a times by the breadth is 6 minus 3a squared which gives us just 2a times by 6 is 12a minus 2 times 3 is 6a cubed and ta-da we've now got it right now I'm going to change color before we carry on with the next question now it says calculate the value or values of a for which the area of PQRS is a maximum. And it says give your answers in the simplified third form with a rational denominator. Okay, right. So remember, whenever we want to do a maximum, what do we do? We find the first derivative, because remember this is A. We're going to find the first derivative and we're going to let it equal naught. That's what we do when we get maximums. And you have seen that in the previous videos. So let's have a look at that. So we've got A dashed is going to be 12 minus 6 times 3 is 18, whoopsie, 18a squared. So that is 12 minus 18a squared and that is the first derivative. So what do we want to do now? We want to find the maximum or the minimum. So what are we going to do? We're going to let it equal naught. We're going to let it equal naught. So therefore we can say that 12 minus 18a squared is equal to naught. So we can take the 12 across, so we've got minus 18a squared is equal to negative 12. 
Therefore, we've got that a squared is equal to negative 12 over 18. So we can simplify that, and it's negative 18 as well. So a squared is equal to the minus and the minus and cancel, which is great. What goes into both 12 and 18? 6. 6 goes into it twice, that's 2. And 6 goes into 18 three times. So therefore, a is going to be plus or minus the square root Okay, plus or minus the square root of 2 over 3. So it says calculate the values of a for which the area is a maximum. So therefore the values of a are either going to be, but they've said they want a to be greater than 0. It has to be greater than 0 for this to work. Therefore, our final answer is that a is equal to the square root of 2 over 3. They've said they want you to simplify your answer with a rational denominator. So if you look at this, you can see that I haven't got a rational denominator yet. I have got the square root of 2 over 3, which can be rewritten as the square root of 2 over the square root of 3. So how do we rationalize that? Okay, I need some space, so I'm going to write over here, and I'm going to choose a different color so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to say that a is equal to root 2 over root 3. In order to rationalize this, what do I have to do? I have to times the denominator by root 3, but what you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. So that becomes root 2 times root 3, all over root 3 times root 3 is just 3. And then to simplify this even further, we go root 2 times root 3 is actually root 6 over 3. And that is the final answer. Right, grade 12s, I hope this has helped you to understand the type of questions that you will get in the final answer, I mean in the final exams. Please try and practice these, make sure you go through all the examples in the turnable system, and yeah, just practice, practice, practice. Have a great day.